up guys, it's Katrina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by Zephyr. I wasn't sure who was gonna say it. <laughs> Zephyr's playing with our shot glasses it's here. Like little maracas. Yeah. We're gonna be playing a little game. It's a simple game. We've played it before on my channel. So this is part two. Part two. Ooh, truth or drink, shoddy. The issue though is that I didn't have lemon juice and I went to CVS and guess what? No lemon juice. How does CVS not have lemon How juice? Let's contact the CEO of lemon juice. I will be writing them a very strong opinioned letter. So instead, <laughs> I'll help you kill Rick. I tried to find the most disgusting baby food. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Oh, well that's not very good. <laughs> we got pear, spinach, and pea, organic baby food. Yeah. That looks disgusting. It does look pretty gross, but I do like trying new things. I hope that you get all the questions that you don't want to answer. I'm just gonna- I'm normally pretty straightforward though. I've never like not answered a question, so. Okay, so maybe you won't even get to try it. <sighs> I actually have no idea what these questions are. Abby, our handy dandy camera woman, uh, she <laughs> wrote these Abby questions. Let's give Abby a hand. Woo! I know it's gonna have good handwriting, so it's gonna be legible, no cop well, <laughs> She said that she had bad handwriting. Oh, well, never mind that. <laughs> so, Abby wrote these questions. I'm actually scared. I told her YouTube friendly, but I don't know if we can trust Abby. Crazy which makes it fun, so I think I think Abby might throw us a curveball. Did you throw us a curveball, dude? Maybe. <laughs> If you don't answer a question, you pour this in your shot glass and take it. I think it'll get stuck. Oh, That's it'll get I'm stuck? Thinking. Okay, then maybe we have to just give like a big like... Yeah. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh no! <laughs> okay, so I guess I start. The key is to look into someone's soul before you shoot. That was my phone. <laughs> I got an email. That's your email noise? Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna start. Question one! Yeah. Name something illegal that you've done and regret. Hmm. I don't feel like you've done yeah. anything illegal. I feel like I should have gotten that question. Yeah. Although I don't really regret anything. Wow, no regrets. You should get that tatted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't really do illegal things. Maybe we can both answer it. Well, I feel like everything I've done I've already brought up in videos. I broke into a skate park. That was really fun. Then they called the cops, but luckily we left before that. I've stolen avocados from Walmart because there's no way in hell I'm paying $5 for a single avocado. Sorry, Bro, Walmart. I'm friends with a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> See, the only illegal thing I've done, which I've said before, is I snuck into a movie theater. I mean, technically sneaking into abandoned places would be considered illegal. We snuck into that YMCA. That. that was probably illegal. Oh yeah! yeah we no. snuck into an abandoned YMCA. All right, no regrets. <laughs> Okay, you go, Shoddy. Shoddy, let's go. Have you ever kissed anyone in this room? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Whoa! <laughs> Zephyr's wild. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, what is the strangest thing you've ever bought? I don't think I can answer that. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a shot right now. Oh! Yeah. Should I try to pour it in here? Ew. <laughs> Oh my god. Take a quick slurp. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna throw up. How is it? It tastes like, kind of like applesauce. Applesauce? Okay. But just a little bit more gross. <laughs> I don't like that texture. I'm glad I'm not a baby. Slimy applesauce. All right. Oh, that was disgusting. The aftertaste is really bad. I wanna try it now. I say like it's horrible. <laughs> She's like, ooh, give me some. <laughs> Your turn. All right. What is the biggest lie you've ever told? Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know whether to go like savage or like. I want to hear your savage lies. <laughs> that should be a song title, bro. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. I don't know if I want to put that in. <laughs> Let's just. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, you're gonna drink. Yeah, I'm gonna drink. Okay. <laughs> She's too savage. Yeah. She can't say it. I can't say it. I feel like Zephyr's gonna enjoy it. 
kind of tastes like dirt. I still have the after I don't hate it though. Okay, what is one mannerism that you judge everyone for? That is a great one for you. I literally <laughs> wrote this with you in mind. Really? There's so many. How could I ever say just one? All right, one uh, big, big, big thing is when people don't wear socks. <laughs> if you're going over to someone's house, you should wear socks. <laughs> Listen, the only reason I feel this way is because I have a foot phobia, okay? I don't think you're a bad person because you don't wear socks. <sighs> I am just very close to I hate the feet. <laughs> I hate the feet, yeah. yes. Have you ever lied about being sick to get out of something? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was that was way too fast. Wow. Honestly, this is a great story. Okay. Um, I was in kindergarten and I did not want to go to school. So I was like, I'm sick, you know? Then after a while I was like, okay, I'm bored because I couldn't do anything. They were like, well, if you're sick, you can't even play video games. And I was just like, okay, I'm bored. I feel better. Let's go to school. But what I didn't know was that my mom had told my dad, because they were divorced at the time, she had told my dad, oh, she's not going to school, and then forgot to tell him that I was, so I was abandoned at the bus stop for about two no. hours. Um, I walked home, nobody was home, and then called the principal, and he picked me up, I went back to school, and eventually, like, after three hours, my dad showed up and picked me up, and that is how I got a cell phone in kindergarten. Oh, Everyone's just like, oh, that's so sick, but it's like, I had it because, you know, the miscommunication, if I hadn't had a phone, I might have gone pretty bad, so. Yeah, that was the worst feeling when your, like, parents were, like, 30 minutes late or something. Something yeah. picking you up. I would ball my eyes out. If my parents, if everyone got picked up and I was the last person, I was like, oh my god, something bad happened. I would just cry. And that happened to me so much in preschool. So I was always the last one. So I was kind of used to it, but I was just like, bruh. Wow, I can't believe you could even think that at kindergarten. You're like, I'm just not gonna go to school. I'm just saying I'm sick. <laughs> I was like, woo, school, I guess. Fake sick days, guys. <laughs> Name one time you pretended to like a gift but actually hated it. Oh. There's a lot of times. It's like your grandparents that like don't like know what you like. T-shirts. I got pajamas every year. Every year. Yep. And, and then they go, thanks, an avocado. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get like socks or something? Okay, I love socks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, that explains, because I hate feet, mm. so I loved getting socks. I mean, some socks, they do it right, you know? Like, for yeah. socks, that's exciting. Ooh. If you've ever given Hanes white socks out, you're, you're doing it wrong. Only a few more. I'm gonna take this big one. Oh. I was like, I'm gonna put them in a pile so that Zephyr doesn't do her heat trick. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we play cards, Zephyr will put her hand over the cards and like feel their energy and then pick the card. I was tempted. And I was like, I'm gonna make them into a pile I so Zephyr so can't do that this time. <laughs> Who is your favorite person you know personally? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kat is great. Wow. Um, I would probably say like my grandma just cause, you know, she's no longer with us, but she was amazing and we're so alike, we have the same birthday and I get a lot of my art stuff same from her. Same birthday too? Same birthday, yeah. We were so similar. That's iconic. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm your second favorite then, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take that. What's the worst date you've ever had? So many! I really- I have a few really bad ones. Really? Okay, this one I guy- I wanna hear this. Okay, one guy was like a Disney actor. And I met him because like, they would bring in audiences for like live tapings. And I met him at the end of the show. And he like, was like, oh, can I get your number? And I was like, sure. And then we went on a date. So he picked me up and we're driving to the movies. And we're like, he was such a bad driver. He would like stop in the intersection. And then the other light would be green. He didn't have to go, but he like went knowing he would be stuck in the intersection. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And I know that you get paranoid with cars, so that was probably like extra. Yeah. And then everyone's like, honk, honk, honk. And he's like, <laughs> and everyone's like, why are you so chill right now? And then we get to the theater and this man's is like talking louder than ever and like laughing so obnoxiously oh, loud. Oh yeah, that's one of those things. Like if, if I were to put like, what's one trait that, that really pisses you off? Like, let me watch the movie. Right? Let me watch the Plus, movie. Plus there's other people in right. the theater. You're not being, And he's like, like that's oh rude, my though. god, like loud. And I'm like, aren't you an actor? I feel like you should know how to behave yourself in a theater. Right. And then on the way home, he pulls out a cigarette and he was like, you want one? I was like, I don't smoke. And then he begins to smoke it with me in the car and then goes to kiss me. And I'm like, ew. Ah. ew. Oh my god, entitled. Yeah, I ghosted him. For real. These Disney actors, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Jeez. 
I don't have any like horrible, horrible date stories because I don't really go on a lot of dates with people. I just like immediately date them. <laughs> You're like, hi, I like you. Let's date. I like you. Have a cupcake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like also answering all these because I'm like, <laughs> one time I went to prom with my ex and he left before prom and I went by myself. Wait, what? He was like, I don't feel good, <laughs> I'm leaving. So you just went to prom alone? Yeah. Wow. We had a group of friends, but like we were supposed to go together. We like took some pictures and then he went home. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow, that's so lame. Yeah, it was fine though, I had a good time. <laughs> Have I ever gotten into a physical fight? Not a serious physical fight. I have gotten into a lot of like play fights that get, you know, they are physical. There's Wait, some, like punches exchanged. In a play fight, you're punching? Oh yeah. What, who, can you explain in more detail? A lot of people like to challenge me to fights. Just for fun? Yeah, just for fun. Oh, not like we're going for a knockout or anything, but just like so you can hit harder. Okay. One time I did like hit my head into like a concrete wall though, that was unfortunate. Oh my god. I feel like you shouldn't do these anymore, maybe. No, I haven't <laughs> fought anybody in years. <laughs> okay, but... good. Have you ever had a secret relationship? Yes. I feel like it makes it more fun when it's a secret relationship. <laughs> well, me and Sam were secret for a long time, so yeah. there's that. I don't think I've ever had like a secret, se like a fully secret relationship, but you know, there's obviously stuff that I don't like to make public. Yeah. Wow, we've been killing it. We only ate this once. Oh, I kind of want more questions. Yeah. This is the last one. <sighs> Who is one person you can't stand to be around? Oh, that's a good one. That is an amazing that's finale. Pretty good. I don't know if I can answer. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna take the baby food. I'm gonna take the baby food. You should chug it. Okay. Sorry, another text. <laughs> I gotta turn you my phone off. You have the craziest spring tones. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? No. Here, I'm gonna try with you. It tastes like dirt. Pear flavored dirt. Cheers. Oh man, I just took a giant gulp, <laughs> but sure. The peas is what's making it taste like dirt, for sure. So like, I feel like if they didn't put the peas in there, yeah, it might be slightly salvageable. It's like okay at first because you taste the pear, but after that, it's like the aftertaste is horrible for me. It tastes like dirt, man. I'm going to go with a big thumbs down on this. I'm going to go with a sideways thumb on sideways it. Sideways thumb? Yeah. All right, that's all of our questions. Oh, this is fun. It was fun. I kind of want more questions. If you guys want to see us do this again, let us know in the comments. Give this video a big old like and we will answer some more questions. Again Comment for you guys. below, y'all. Don't be afraid to get crazy. Let us know. Let's get this video to how many likes? A million. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like 10K. I don't know. Make sure you guys check out Zephyr. She's awesome. She'll be linked down below. Get the So Screwed merch. Yeah. Subscribe. I know you're not subscribed, so subscribe. Let's just right take now. a moment. I want to see this full thing in yeah. all of its glory. Oh, yeah. Look at this color. Look at that font. Look at the placement, the design. Wow. How can you not want that? <laughs> right? Come on now. Go get the So Screwed merch and like, subscribe. We will see you guys next time. Bye.